let me teach you how to attack on coastline and play defense this is my master coastline guide let's begin so what we're first going to do is talk about attacking on coastline you see the map is not about attacking inside the building it's about attacking the outside and around the building pretty much all the defenders are in a kill box and your job is to find out how to get as many kills from standing outside and then getting in let me explain in more detail so we have two guys on aqua one guy white window one guy hookah balcony one guy below office double door all right now the site is pool table bomb one and bomb two is in hookah the common ranked attack is actually we're gonna take this we're gonna go all the way across like this maybe even get some 90 action and then we're gonna have some hookah pinch right but there's a lot this is one two technically three four five six seven eight nine areas to clear and then eventually you have to hopefully clear aqua to plant that is way too much what you're going to do is these two guys their job is to fight aqua okay this is aqua now with them fighting aqua there's only two types of fights they can't win it's luggage and it's bar now let me explain to you why this is perfect this guy can be buck buck's one of the best attackers in the game now buck is downstairs and his job is to hold the nitro below his job is to hold the nitro below so nobody can plant but if i go hey yo there's a a guy behind the bar buck can walk in below and buck this guy out easy peasy real quick no issue but let's say that isn't really cutting it for you right then what about buck opening the hatches throwing flashes from the hatch up into behind the bar that's not the best but you could also do that one of these two guys here can have nades what if this is a ying and sledge combo right just for the argument or finca fink would be fink would be amazing finca and ying combo now why is this perfect because if ying accidentally flashes that finca finca can boost up and then see again so perfect now what you're going to do is have finca go to the rooftop ying can throw a couple yings in there and finca can grenade the drone hatch above or the drone hole above if you guys didn't know right behind the bar there's a drone a uh, little like vent and a grenade falls right behind the bar making this guy run away into the ying player who's already flashing so this guy's always going to die here that's the end of the story okay luggage we're not going to worry about because luggage if these guys, right, let's say there's one defender here. Let's say there's two defenders roaming here. If they want to flank luggage together as one, maybe even from downstairs, we have a guy repelling on the white window. This guy is upside down and he's quiet. This guy is most likely your lion or your doke. This guy is just AFK white window and it's perfect. Flank is covered absolutely amazing right so that's just this is clear now nitro can't happen because buck is below and now we want to walk in and plant right there right that's the plant spot right that's our xp spot our plant the biggest issue to this entire attack is just anybody going through a rotate and pushing the planner well that's why this guy in hookah who was stalling who was wasting time plays nomad you're gonna air jab the door jump off run over repel up when it's time to plant you're going to air jab the wall, air jab the corner. And now if a defender wants to go through the rotate or swing the pool table, they're stuck because of the air jab. And they can just sit there and watch the swing as the plant goes down. And you're going to win every time. And guess what? If you couldn't tell, only one player in this five-minute attack had to actually step in the building. Okay? Let's go to attack number two. And we're going to talk about um, the upstairs kitchen area. Okay? So what you first need to understand, pause, the downstairs kitchen area. What you need to understand about coastline downstairs is that it's all about either playing horizontally or playing vertically. Vertically happens to be the best, right? Yes, you could push, uh, push sunrise and push office, but this is not great. Again, I'm going to show you a nasty a top take. Remember, site is downstairs, boys. Please don't forget. You know what? I, uh, no, don't worry about it. Don't forget. 
So we're going to bring a ram. Right? Let's go back, actually. Let's make everything one color. We're going to bring a ram. Now, ram, as long as these walls are not reinforced, which a lot of times they don't really get reinforced, you're going to be able to drive your ram through like this. It's going to open the wall for a rotate, and you're going to open all the vert here. Right? Then you're going to work your ram vert here. And then you can work your ram vert this way. Right? Again, you're going to want buck still. Right? You're going to want line still. You can even go nomad still. It doesn't matter. But these are my three favorite, and I'll tell you why. Buck's going to come through Hall of Fame, and he's going to work this. Boom. Okay? The biggest thing you guys are going to say is, Brack, but there's always roamers upstairs, and they're so annoying. The lion is still doing the same job. He's upside down on white window, and his job is to make sure no one can run back or come up or come through luggage. He is your white stairs flank the entire round. He only gets off when things are going to go down like a plant. When they go to plant and kitchen and things like that, he gets down, he opens their front door, he goes through the main lobby. If a plant's happening here, when the bottom goes down and he plants, he goes to the rooftop, he runs across, and he drops hookah. And when they're all pushing this way towards the guy who planted, he drops behind them on the door that was already open, and he gets the kills and hookah. I just forgot to talk about that. Um, so, yeah, Lion has this. This is the cutoff for Lion. Good job, right? Now, the Nomad or your other player is going to be here. Let's say it's Nomad again. Now, Nomad is your cutoff for this staircase. So, the only place they can be in right now is technically here, right? They can all be in the big L spot, but it doesn't matter because you're playing vert here. So, Nomad has to cut off on white. I mean, on cool vibes, you have to cut off on white. And Nomad is going to come in and is in the air jab. Boom. Right? They can run all the way in. Air jab for you too. Boom. Air jab for Oryx if it's that in the meta still. Not really in my opinion. But the air jabs are down. All right? So cut off, cut off. Now these three players can work vert. The biggest thing about playing vert though is that you never want three people working the vert. And you always want one guy kitchen window or at least one guy service door. The reason for that is because when people are running around in the site, you want to make sure that someone can at least shoot them, right? When the when the vert's happening, the ram, the buck, you're lying calling. When people are flanking, you're lying calling. When you're going to plant, you're lying calling. That's how it works. You're playing together as a team. Ram, buck, who else? You already know I love good Ying. I love Ying. This is the most broken map for Ying. Um, you will never win a game on this map if someone's playing Ying the right way. So, from this side perspective, this is what we're looking at, okay? We're looking at a yin here. Buck and Ram are upstairs. The vert here has been made. The vert here has been made. And then Buck has made the vert here and here. Making this entire area unplayable, which means that she filter into the guy playing upside down the door, yin, for easy kills. Everyone should be dead right there. The lion will go off the white window when it's time to plant. Put pressure on the main lobby with an angle like this. The nomad will eventually walk down the, the staircase after the bomb is down. So we have nomad hit in the back, lion hit in the back, and then the ram and the buck either drop the main lobby hatch or they can go kitchen window and they're also hit in the back. Or they can watch a plant go down from above. And I mean, the, the attack is so clean and clear. When you go to plant here, you're probably going to ask, where are you going to plant though? You're looking to plant deep in this area here somewhere on this side of the site, either here on the racks uh, here on the wall, deep in here like this in dark. Ying has the ability to smoke like this. Ying into kitchen, right? Ying the drone hole right here and then go through the door. Ying has the ability to plant all by herself as long as the people on the vert are doing her job. And again, as if you couldn't realize, only two people really got in the building that time. Nomad can stay outside. Lion can stay outside. They're just holding flanks. They're just doing their job, right? Uh, the Ying's outside. Only Ram and Buck went in. And if they can't win 1-1 one, one upstairs, that is a problem. Because Ram and Buck are, are officially only fighting this. Clearing, clearing, fighting this. The Ying can start big window. If Ying is big window, Lion is white window. Nomad is here at air jabbing. If anybody is roaming, Nomad can walk in, fight them in the back. Lion has the runaway. Ying's on big window, can throw Ying's for the guys. I mean, this attack is disgusting, Okay. A lot of you guys saw my Villa map breakdown. 
every day on stream, someone's like, yo, I haven't lost Villa since I started playing Astro Window and 90 Window. It's so free. It really, my, my attack, I don't have great gun skill. So my attack strats as an IGL were very basic and I put my gunners in great spots. But if my gunners never listened, I seemed like I didn't know what I was talking about. But my attack strats are simple. It shouldn't be hard for my two entry fraggers to push this with Yings going into the site. That's not on me. That's on them. You understand? All right. And lastly, we're going to talk about the offsite and the double bar, the sunrise and the blue bar defense, right? Um, attacking this, again, is going to seem a little silly, but you're going to go down with the same technical plan, but it's going to be maneuvered a little bit different. Lion used to play white window, but now Lion is going to be front door. The line is front door because his job is to make sure no one can free run around from main lobby into security. That Nomad, Finca, Ying combo, those three players, you're all going to come in here. You're going to get into the office area. You're going to come in, you're going to air jab, you might even double air jab, and you can even air jab the hatch. Or you don't need to air jab at all if you trust the line in main lobby. The reason why the line needs to come in main lobby is because these holes here usually have feet holes. So you lay down as a defender. And you can shoot the guy behind the bar planting. But if the bomb is going down and you line call, this guy can run in and kill the guy playing paint. That's called paint, this wall. All right? So the line job is there. Now, we had a guy outside of that hookah area on the platform for hookah and pool table. That guy is just playing double windows. He's playing right here. Fighting that window, fighting this window, making sure no one can push the guy planting. And this group of three is looking to push office and just plant the bomb. It could be Ying, Finca, whatever, Nomad Ying, Finca. It could be Doke, whatever you want. Your job is to get into the soft wall and plant behind the bar. And you're going to be able to do it for so free if you have a Ying, uh, you have the lineman in lobby. It's very simple. And again, we're barely working the building. We don't have to clear all the stuff. Stop clearing things that you don't need. All right, so now we're going to get into the defense. I'm going to show you the best defenses to run and why. So first, we're going to start with reinforcements. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Outside wall, nine or ten. You guys should not reinforce this wall because your job is to really hold this down. Make them have to use an ash, a buck, things like that for the wall. I know you're thinking, but then they have this angle like this. That angle shouldn't really affect you that hard if you're doing the work that you need to do on the outside. Why do you want this wall and this wall reinforced? Because... You don't want to get wall banged vase, right? So these two walls protect you. And you don't want to get wall banged from 90 playing on the pirate wall there. And yes, I did just call that wall pirate. In case you guys didn't know, this wall is pirate. This is vase. This is L, depending on who you play with, or couch, right? Uh, there's different clouds for everybody. We're not going to get into it. How do you learn callouts? Depends who you play with. All right. So on this side of the room, we're going to have double roamers. Two roamers now i'm going to introduce to you something that you guys probably never thought i'd say but mozzie is one of the best coastline players or operators in the entire game mozzie creates the most annoying drone roam clear situation ever and this map is very nitro heavy i'll explain why in a second but mozzie's amazing mozzie and mute are my favorite combo on this map a little outdated but still very strong your job as these two roamers right is to sit here and waste a lot of time. Now, a lot of you guys go, Breck, didn't you just show us how easy it is to kill two people coming back to the site? Yes, but it's one guy on white window. Meaning, you guys can drop the hatch if you need to. Just pop it open. It ain't that bad. Or go back to site. So don't worry about the guy on white window. Trust me, I have it thought out. Just drop the hatch. Now, you guys are looking to waste time, burst time, get back to the site. You most likely are always going to have to go down the white stairs or drop the hatch, one or the other. So with that being said, eventually, with these two guys, if they're both Nitro players, God bless. If it's Solus and a Nitro, God bless. Because why? You're going to drop down the staircase. You're going to flank below through security. You're going to flank into office. And now you can Nitro anybody in Aqua. And if you want to hit more nitros, I'm going to show you a trick. You're going to make feet holes here, meaning that everybody in Aqua is going to be here. But nobody in Aqua will be back end half. They're going to be there. So technically, if you know your map well, the nitro has to be somewhere there. Taking your 
20, 80% chance hitting a nitro to about a, you know, a 70, 30 in your favor. There's more of a chance of you hitting this nitro all because you made the map more unplayable far away with ghost pressure. Okay. So we're going to hit those nitro kills. Perfect. It's going to be beautiful. All right. Now, if you guys really wanted to, a smoke, a mute or whatever shoots the entire floor open, pops the hatches open, and now they can only really be here or like there in this shaded area. So you're making it more interesting, but I like leaving this left alone because I don't want people going down there thinking we're roaming. I want them to think it's safe and then you double flank. So your two roamers are double flanking for that bomb going down. Obviously, this is for bomb A and bomb B. In case you were a little confused somehow, there you go. Now we have three operators left. This guy's playing wall denial. Most likely, this is your mute player. The mute is just going to sit here and be afraid the entire time. But the job is to at least have a nitro for the plant. You have a shotgun if anyone swings you this way, wide on pool table or close on pool table. So that guy's going to play mute. He's going to set the wall up and just play there, right? I'm going to have mute jammer, mute jammer. That's good for the wall. Mute jammer on the door so then one can play Flores, right? And then your last mute jammer can literally go for the wall on the outside and you're fine, right? So that's your mute jammer, mute jammer, mute jammer. We're solid. We look great, right? These guys are nitros or soulless nitro. All right. Now we have two guys left. Azami's going to put a wall here to cover you from the window repel. Azami's going to put a wall here to cover you from the door angle. Azami's going to put a wall here. That way you can walk up through the rotate hole and fight. Obviously, rotate here, rotate there, right? The smaller the rotate here, better because you don't want the guy in the repel to have a lot of views onto the site. So make that rotate smaller and make sure that you can walk through it or vault through it. Never crouch through a rotate. Crouching through rotate suck. Uh, they have their time and their place, okay? And the last guy we haven't talked about is who is playing here. This can legit be anybody. Like Valk and, Sol and Solus can be over here. So then maybe you're playing like Banshee, Banshee, Banshee for the plant. You're playing Malusi. Maybe you're playing Goyo. Maybe you're playing Wamai. You could literally be anybody. Who knows? I just think that audio for this hallway is best case scenario. Can, case scenarios, I think Banshees are the best with Malusi. That way you know if anyone's walking down the hallway. All right. Beautiful. Okay. I talked about how to get below. I talked about how to push all of that. We love it. Now we're going to talk about the site and kitchen. Do you play horizontally or do you play above? You play above. I'm going to show you how. One, two, three, four, five. Rotate. Leave this wall soft. You leave it soft, so if they plant and you lose a site, you can wall bang them and kill them planting in this space there, which is where a lot of people plant. It's where I showed you to plant, right? If you want, that doesn't have to be soft. We can reinforce it. Why do I like a rotate? Because if they open the vert, I want to be able to get out the site, but back in the site in a different way. If they're all playing vert, I can most likely just sit here and fight anybody walking in as an attacker looking to plant. Hey, right? Hey, fire, 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 right? So I like to rotate here. And I like it to be jumping or uh, vaulting, okay? So there we go, rotate. Uh, you can put feet holes here, all right? Rotate, feet holes here, okay? Now we're going to go above. Remember that. So we have one, two, three, four, five walls. We have five walls remaining, and they're all going to go upstairs by a group of two. The same two? Possibly. Valkyrie Solis, Mozzie Solis. Anything that you want. One, two, three, four, five. That's what I like. Let me tell you why. The reason why this is so strong is because hopefully you have Walden Isle for this. A mute jammer would be nice. That means that mute's going to come back again. One, two, right? Three. And then it could be like four, right? So now they can't really drone. They're going to struggle to clear this. They're going to waste a lot of time. You as the two roamers, again, you're burning time, burning time, burning time, burning time. You run away. You run away. That's it. Run away. You don't have to be there all game. You don't have to die for it. Just give up time and make them waste all that time. Make them figure out someone has to go aqua to get them in the back. And you know what? Two roamers here, one roamer here. This guy is on rat patrol. He's watching this. He's watching this. It's his job to make sure there's no way that you guys can get stuck on upstairs when you're looking to run away. And he's also going to be the guy that tells you where you can run away too. If no one's on the, the, the roof, he doesn't hear anybody roof, he goes, yo, come this way. If he hears hookah, yo, go white side. Yo, white window is still closed. Go white. He can call it. He's your scout player. He's the rat patrol player. He's on patrol to make sure that you're okay. 
all right? The other two guys that are downstairs in sight, as we get down back get that back down here again, these two guys are playing the two most basic spots. If these guys could also have a nitro, or at least one of them have a nitro, that's a, a good look because you can hit nitro kills on the guys above that are looking to kill the people above. They're not really worried about you down there. They're thinking that you're gonna they're gonna be okay. If as those rom those roamers are running away, if you hit a nitro and you bait off each other, oh, you're gonna kill it. Now I'm gonna teach you something. Go find out on your own if you really care enough. Shoot the ceiling. If you shoot the ceiling there, right? The wall that you shoot is going to be here. You can see people drop the hatch from inside server. Inside bathroom, I mean. You can, you can literally watch the hatch drop from inside the site. A lot of you guys didn't know that. I'm going to say it again. If you shoot the floor and bathroom in the site's kitchen. Let's go back. If the site is kitchen and bathroom or kitchen and service... If you guys go into the bathroom and you shoot the ceiling open right there, it lets you see, right, the hatch drop from bathroom. So if you have two roamers above, as a player in the site downstairs, you can look up through the ceiling and see anyone dropping the hatch. Auto kill every single time. And that's the type of stuff that you're learning with my channel. You're, you're going to be able to get so many kills on people that didn't know things were possible and you're just going to be so good and you're going to look so good and you're going to be like me and not the greatest gun skill but super smart and if you're super smart with my my brain and pause if you're super smart and have way better gun skill than me you're going to kill it i hope you guys learn something new i love you guys so much man oh i didn't show you how to defend the other site okay this this site's disgusting one two three Four. Five. Five, six. Seven. The rest are upstairs. This is way more complicated, but we're not going to go over upstairs because ranked, you'll never almost ever see this. So it's not like, oh, but I should be prepared. You're not gonna, the way my setup was upstairs, it was very specific for certain things that are not going to happen for you in a ring session. I promise. Just trust me. What you're going to do is you're going to have one player here in kitchen, and his job is watching this area. This entire area is clear. Good job, one guy. He's going to barricade. He can barricade the double door. Like He's just going to sit here and waste a lot of time. Just do your thing, bro. Okay, Your, your job is to hold this. Okay. Now we're going to have two guys here. One player here. One player here. Like this guy, his job is to have pressure here. So you don't have to barricade this if you don't want to. But pressure and pressure. Main lobby can't get taken because these two guys are going to be reacting off audio. This guy's job is also to help you here in the office. And your job here is to waste time on this push here. You're just going to waste. If they put pressure vert, you go back this way. If there's no vert and they put pressure here, you go back into the site. If the window is open, you got to go that way, right? But this is what you're looking to do. Just like that. Okay. One. One, one, one. And then you're going to have uh, one guy here. One guy here. These guys have nitros. These guys are playing horizontal. You're going to ask, how come you're not playing vert like you would in the other sites? You do play vert if you can. But you see how it's hard to have the numbers for vert? It's really difficult. I think holding office is better. Because if you hold office... Right, and people want to get in here and they want to plant like this. You guys can see this plant this way. You can see it. So I'm not worried about it. I'm really not. If you guys don't like that response, that's totally cool. Then what's going to happen is the, the guy that was here and the guy that was here, get rid of both of them, double reinforce, right? Like that. And then when you go upstairs, you're going to come up here, hit this, boom. Boom. And you play it like hookah. One guy there, one guy there. You waste time, you go down the stairs. Simple. You put a Malusi here, no one can walk 90, you're comfy. You put a Malusi here, no one can push as fast, you're comfy, and you just hold the vert. You see how simple it was? The, the answer you're looking for is, is very basic. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I'm probably streaming right now. Come watch. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.